1996, YWAM Norway came in contact with the RC people in Ethiopia for the first time. There are approximately 5 million RC people who live around the highlands of the southeastern part of Ethiopia. They live off farming and small trade and are also great herdsmen. The RC tribe is traditionally Muslim. It's common for the men to have up to four wives. On average, each woman gives birth to 5.9 children. For this reason, this part of the country is densely populated even in the remote areas. Poverty is a challenge for these people. Due to small farming land areas and ineffective farming techniques, many families cannot make enough to support themselves even though in the highlands of Ethiopia there is usually enough rain. To meet some of these challenges, Wyman for the last 12 years has collaborated with a local Ethiopian partner to lift this people group out of poverty so that individuals within this community can have the chance to live their lives in dignity. From 2004 until now, there has been an ongoing school building project as part of the collaboration between YWAM and its local partner. Classrooms and offices have been built. Each finished project location, depending on the location, gives approximately 300 children education per year. While Meadow Harvest Church School was under construction, 180 students had signed up waiting to take part in the school. Even though the communities show an interest in what this project has to offer, there are many challenges involved in achieving education for all. This is the place where this community is getting water. It's very crowded because there is no water. It is also very common in rural Ethiopia for children, especially girls, to walk up to six hours to collect water. This means that many of these children will not have the time to sit in class in order to obtain an education. One of the reasons we wanted to come to Meadow was because of the great need here. In 2012, school building projects have been completed. Yet, YWAM with the local partner will continue to work together in order to tackle issues concerning women and children in the RC region.